All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between X Lord versus Fly. This is taking place here on Northern Isle, as X Lord has spawned as the blue undead player over here on the bottom left. Meanwhile, Fly has spawned as the red orc over here on the top right. One thing, to, by the way, Crota, always wondered which is better, Fallout. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I have to watch the types of games that I play with my children um, and because, because they like to watch me play. So I try to avoid first person shooters at, or f shooters at all costs, especially since I think when Fallout 1 and 2 came out, they were like, yeah, they were, they were, they were infants at that time. I don't think I even had time or an opportunity to really actually play, um, and the more as I get older in terms of games, I realize, did you play in your youth though? Yes, I did play in my youth. Um, I did play a lot of RPGs. I think the RPG of, of my, the RPG that I probably liked the most was Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6. Um, I know Final Fantasy 7 is really, really good as well. But the, the sto what, what the make, what Squaresoft did in terms of storytelling in Final Fantasy 3, Final, also known as Final Fantasy 6, was much, much more, um, was much, much more like heartbreaking in terms of all of the characters, all the cast, all the backstory. It really seemed like um, a, a really robust game. But, you know, that's for another time. Let's go ahead and, you know, focus down here on X Lord versus Fly. One thing I wanted to talk about, I did play Baldur's Gate, um, and talk about was that X Lord, well, um, uh, for the first time ever, um, all of these games are really being played like while everyone is sheltering in place. So I, I'm pretty sure X-Lord is playing with a significant higher degree of lag than his opponents. We'll see if that is going to be the case here as we are going to be going far seer going up against Crypt Lord. Um, Crypt Lord, well, and summoning all of those units. Yeah, ping is a giant thing here for the European players. European players, this is going to be a major, major harassment and um, coming across from the far seer here. So, and we'll see. I, I know that X Lord. Um, well, let me just. Uh, X Lord is playing with a lot of lag, and we'll see what the European players can do. Well, while being the away team in this matchup. All right, Tuscar Trapper trying to make sure to focus down onto the unit that has the medium armor. Very, very smart call there to ensure that damage is being done quickly. Meanwhile, back down across over here, it looks like Fly is actually just trying to steal creeps from his opponent. And it is creeping, but it is also a little bit of harassment by getting and taking down the, uh, the creeps that your opponent is normally in his base level one more axe hit gonna finish off that tide runner as the crypt lord now makes its way back across over here crypt lord is sitting at level two has a sacrificial skull potion of invulnerability in the income a couple of ensnares more beetles will be joining in on the fight as a low hit point ghoul is trying to get away all right, summoning up more and more beetles as quickly as he can. Low hit point ghoul going to go ahead and get back on Blight. Is it going to be able to make its way inside? And a little bit of micro white right there. No, not going to be enough as the spirit wolves are now going to get end up getting taken down. All right, resummoned once more. X Lord still holding on to that altar of darkness as it looks like it is going to be transitioning now into an expansion. There is a sentry ward right in position here. Tech to tier two, nearly done by Fly. So it is going to be. Well, what happened there? It is going to be. Uh, yeah, somehow it like jumped somewhere on the map that I wasn't quite ready for. As we see a couple of ensnares now, or an ensnare onto a carry on beetle. All right, in comes a large attack here. Fly going to be trying to get in some damage and trying to stop and harass as this expansion is getting underway. There goes one quick hill kill there, trying to make sure that the ghouls all land their attack at the same time to prevent the Farseer from, well, doing exactly what he just did right there, stealing the last hit on a creep. However, a quick impale, Farseer, however, able to slip away as, well, it looks like it wasn't enough there. Grunt, however, going to get surrounded here as the Grunt is going to perhaps end up getting taken down. We see some more pe beetles joining in on the fight. Acolyte going to get taken down by the Spirit Wolf. No, timed life coming to an end. And that timed life actually making a little bit of difference as the Spirit Wolves are trying to shut down that Haunted Goldmine. Haunted Goldmine going to quickly be canceled there as the Farseer did get within range once more. Who's going to get the last hit on that Crypt Lord right there? Chain Lightning from the Farseer of Fly. 
but he walks into a trap as he gets surrounded there. There goes a ghoul. Scroll of Town Portal now being used. The Spirit Wolves trying to get in a little bit of extra damage, but unable to stop that haunted gold mine. All right. Um, ping disadvantage, but still able to, to do a lot of the necessary work. And we are looking at a ziggurat now trying to be established here. Meanwhile, we are having, well, is the Crypt Lord going to be able to get to level 3? This is a very big deal if it is able to get to level 3 for those level 2 carry-on beetles. And, or, and I think that is going to be the case. Now that he does have level 2, we should be seeing beetles popping up out of the ground as those, greedles, as those beetles 15 to 18 damage. And also at 330 hit points, essentially the strength of a ghoul at this point. Haunted Goldmine at about half-life here. Nerubian Tower should be coming online here in just a moment as the Beetles are going to be getting some damage onto, well, some Spirit Wolves and some Grunts. Nerubian Tower now up and operational as well. Going to slow down the attacks of the Shadow Hunter as that is a cancellation onto that gold mine once more. All right, Fly trying to back away. Is the slow going to be enough? Um, it is going to be enough to force a scroll of speed as the Farseer now heads back, well, to heads back to wherever he wants to go yet yeah. Gre greetles all right those beetles and um, 330 hit points 15 to 18 damage an average attack speed dealing large chunks of damage but now we are going to see wind riders fly correctly noticing that there are no crypt fiends no way to easily deal with those wind riders as of yet save for some spirit towers as the beetles are now swarming to take down a grunt and it may end up happening again no that grunt 293 hit points still able to get away another low hit point grunt farseer was almost trapped but able to break free once more as the beetles and um, well are they going to be able to finish off any of any more of those grunts it looks like damage is getting added up slightly slowly but surely 23 supply or 23 hit points able to head away as the x lord now just putting pushing his way through farseer gonna get surrounded that is gonna be a problem farseer gets up to level three there's a hex onto the lord but still gets taken down as the a farseer of fly gets picked off Crypt Lord now going after is going to be able to take down that Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter looks like it was about to get surrounded here in just a moment, but not enough mana, perhaps. All right, Spirit Walkers do have or do not have Disenchant, only have Spirit Link so far, and that is going to be the downside for them as the Shadow Hunter down to 72 supply, still going in with all of that pestering damage. X Lord. What is it hoping to do? Skeletal minions, more beetles. And he's going to use this opportunity to, um, well, summon some more. What was that about? Summoning units only to see them almost get taken out. Um, there it goes. No, not a reason to do any of that here. Shadow Hunter now sitting at level two. Beetles now showing up to the party. And this could be some bad news. No impale, though, as the raiders get off and ensnare. All right. Beetle going to go ahead and double back around, getting in some extra damage, perhaps onto that onto that Shadow Hunter. More skeletal minions joining in on the fight as the Crypt Lord seems to be a little bit confused about where he's going, except he wanted to just get as many beetles as he possibly could. The potion of Lesser Invulnerability or Invulnerability being used. It's going to try to get in some more damage. You can take a look at Shadow Hunter. Where is this guy going? Hiring up a Goblin Zeppelin in the middle of the day, but he gets ensnared down. All right, he is ensnared in position. However, the Shadow Hunter, are the Raiders going to be able to get there or are the Crypts going to end up blocking this? And that seems to be the case. Another ensnare down here as the Scroll of Speed now trying to be used. All right, Crypt Lord down to 98, 26 hit points. It is on the ground, so it does not actually account to get dizzy since he was already on the ground to begin with. All right, Crypt Lord could be in trouble. Down to 213 hit points. He's trying to back away. Is the Farseer back out onto the field? It should be. There is an ensnare as the Shadow Hunter gets taken down. Hex, Crypt Lord down to 60 hit points. Is he going to get taken down? I believe so. Yes, he does get taken down as well. But, well, also, that Raider was lost a split second after. All right. Is, well, we do finally have a Farseer back out onto the field. Uh, Spirit Wolves uh, will finish off those carry-on beetles. But all three heroes have been taken out at least once. All right, back down to the south, though. We are looking. X-Lord does have a, a comfortable haunted gold mine in this position. He is getting up some additional spirit towers and, and summing up a slaughterhouse here. And back off to the north, we are looking at Fly. Perhaps he wants to try and use that tiny great hall, but we are not going to see any of that as of yet. The voodoo lounge was destroyed earlier um, during all of this craziness. 
as the shadow hunter sitting at level two will be joining back out onto the field all right crypt lord regenerating some hit points death knight going to be joining back in as well you may have been wondering hey why didn't the crypt lord just resurrect at the altar of darkness it is much much faster or it's not as fast but the crypt lord's not using his time anyways well any time that the altar of darkness is resurrecting a hero that is taking away from time from being able to train up an existing uh, train up a new one and that's what we ended up having here all right spirit wolves going straight after that altar of darkness wanting to make sure that the death knight doesn't join in on the fight you can see how important that this one altar of darkness is going to be farseer gets up to level four acolytes being shifted back over book of the dead impale now being used and that timing on the impale absolutely perfect is it going to be a enough though as the ultra of darkness down to wow 23 hit points there it goes ends up getting taken down because of the raiders siege damage meanwhile gargoyle is going after um going after the wind riders is going to be able to do enough uh, well melee damage trying to chase after all of those units as raiders are now getting taken down as well crypt lord sitting at level three uh, looking to finish off all of these units here spirit wolves getting in some critical strikes as the farseer at level four really starting to add up that damage but unbeknownst to him ends up getting surrounded all right this could be very bad news there's an impale up in the air as the farseer well tries to well break free using some spirit wolves um, well, we are looking at the Crypt Lord in a little bit of trouble. He does have a potion of healing, trying to get back on the Blight to regenerate a bit more hit points again as the Beatles are still dealing so much damage. Ultra of Darkness has been resummoned off into the back there. There goes a, a Ghoul as Fly now coming back the other way to put in a lot of pressure. Book of the Dead, some of those um, well, summoned units are still out in play. Halls of the Dead going to become a Black Citadel here and another tower will be coming online. And momentarily providing a little bit of more a little bit more damage and uh, that slowing effect all right orc does not want to overstay his welcome whatsoever meanwhile altar of darkness is back online 24 supply compared to 42 but x lord not giving up yet he has his expansion obsidian statues are being trained we are going into destroyer form great hall is off over here it is not yet mining as the crypt lord is going to try and hold the door and prevent any of these units from being able to make its way inside scroll of town portal now being used in order to teleport out to live and fight another day meanwhile the death knight and we we'll, we'll, should be able to get off some death coils here the instant it is out to heal back up this crypt lord again all right so far what is fly really hoping to do he cannot really push in all that much he knows that perhaps retreat and regroup is the best tactic or perhaps trying to push back over here but there are actually two spirit towers and one nerubian tower high damage indeed as the slaughterhouse should be coming on well the slaughterhouse take actually taking a lot of damage and uh, is it going to be able to finish that destroyer form that is important one acolyte still able to get that repair and that repair is incredibly important all right damage still coming back across there is that at destroyer form a second acolyte all of the acolytes now repairing once again obsidian statues are all right there and with five acolytes repairing that slaughterhouse is not going to be falling anytime soon all right For 38 supply compared to 47 fly overstaying or pushing trying to get some real damage perhaps by taking down that slaughterhouse but that slaughterhouse is back up to 640 hit points as additional obsidian statues will be trained up all right beetles making their rounds out here trying to just scurry around the map we are getting up uh, well a handful of peons already mining away so it is going to be one base for each fly sitting on at low upkeep a um, low upkeep help 51 over 70 supply compared to 42 over 70 x lord should be able to bounce back into this with a little bit of an economic advantage of um, getting six gold extra a second uh so far though how what is this all going to translate to nope no longer an economic advantage there fly purposely getting back down to 49 supply to prevent that loss of gold all right, where is the blue army on this blue tiled map? There we are. There is that Crypt Lord Death Knight sitting at level one obsidian statue out here as well. Destroyers are here ready to go and ready and well, willing to finish off many more units. We are going to be looking at Grunts, Raiders, and Spirit Walkers. That Spirit Link um, well, may end up feeding 
his opponent as we are going to be looking at yep one of illusion to be picked back up all right plus seven armor on this crypt lord that is going to be an impressive state and that is without even using that armored ab or that additional armor ability on that crypt lord here we do see a, a, sp a shadow wolf making its way through level five already on that farseer hence for the shadow wolves as we see that shadow wolf getting in some damage death knight getting up to level two orb of corruption are we going to pick up that item uh, uh, item is claws of attack plus 12 as the chain lightning tries to finish off a couple more units before they all well scroll of town portal away meanwhile over here to the top left spirit wolf or shadow wolf trying to see if there is anything there and this shadow wolf going to spot the army now making its way down as well as the shadow hunter also with true shot or a giving damage bonus to the spirit walkers that far seer as we also see well in comes a scroll of town portal is it going to scroll of town portal here yes it is it is purposely scrolling of town portal here to try and catch up to x lord all right this is going to be a, a very very uh, what well, nasty surprise here obsidian statue trying to run to the back raiders are now joining in at the magnetar reaver gonna get taken down there do we have a scroll of town portal yes the crypt lord does have a scroll of town portal as the destroyer now well gets death coiled in order to be saved and now all of these units are backing up again all right clearing out all of the powerful creeps on the map fly having to use a scroll of town portal uh, essentially like a mass teleport move to head off to the north to try and interrupt his opponent from being able to clear out all the powerful creep camps and get all the powerful so items see. with that said and done though the death knight um giving all of oh, oh freak um a plus 35 damage level one lich um so that lich is damage is going to be absolutely bonkers and through the roof um yeah and and then so that lich is really going to be be dealing a lot of that a lot of that damage um double claws of attack plus 12 on on that lich in addition to that orb of corruption's negative armor debuff and um, that is going to be greatly greatly felt on top of that uh frost nova coming in from the lich that means that those wind riders are going to end up getting slowed down in their tracks x lord is sitting at 50 over 70 supply building up quite a bank right now but fly is the one with a large army this is going to be a, a situation where home field advantage is going to be incredibly important we're starting to look at some of that gold being spent and what else is being purchased additional items orb of corruption on the death knight as well spirit wolves are currently in well going to go ahead and start revealing themselves as the destroyers purposely back away are we going to perhaps get some devour magic and in comes a battle in city and statue quickly gets taken down there's an impale to try and pick off more units as the lich now joins in on the fight all right death knight also with an orb of corruption able to get in a large amount of damage purposely um, to perhaps try and finish down some of those wind riders 70 over 80 supply here crypt lord still trying to fight back destroyers are all here the, the devouring magic again as the death knight could be in trouble death knight has a scroll of healing does it have a potion of healing as the well the as the crypt lord actually with a large amount of armor there goes um, a potion of healing trying to be used more damage chain lightning bouncing around but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough as the shadow hunter could well no that's just an illusion trying to get away and it will be able to do exactly that where is the real shadow hunter right back over here full on hit points crypt fiends now all of a sudden have web there goes an impale picking up some of those units as the battle still raging on crypt lord has a scroll of town portal forcing it to be used in order to get a seven or five seconds of invulnerability scroll of healing is it going to be used in time yes it does as the fight is still raging on here a fly now trying to put in pressure but all of a sudden fly realizes what i've overstayed my welcome quite a bit as well as the ending supply ends up being even lich getting a little bit well what's going on here uh, finishing off a finishing off that ghoul to go into perhaps low upkeep or no go into uh 50 supply again because he wanted a destroyer all right death knight wandering his way out death knight got up to level three uh there was an orb of corruption on the death knight i thought and the lich at the same time i'm not quite sure what happened happened to it as the units are now well wandering back around again all right 
burrowing, uh, burrowing once more. Ultra, uh, well, sacrificial pit off over here. 50 over 70 supply, 63 over 80. And we are looking at ghouls now getting picked off um, and taken down by the spirit towers in order to free up some supply here. Wind Riders, zero one upgrades. Meanwhile, the undead army, two two upgrades on those crypt fiends as we are now transitioning to a three hero play coming in from Fly. Fly with three heroes. One of those heroes will be level one, though. That is going to be a difficult, difficult spot as the Farseer now makes its way back out. All right, there's that reveal here. I'm trying to keep track of everything that is happening. 48 over 70 supply. X-Lord knowing that this is a game, an economic game, and he is purposely staying in no upkeep to get every bit of gold that he can. Now, finally going into 63 over 70 supply, training up crypt fiends, obsidian statues, and everything from all of these production buildings that he possibly can at the same time. We are looking at more acolytes also being added in as well, perhaps to try and do some repairs uh, as the expansion here only has about five or four minutes left, a little bit more than four minutes left to try and well, maintain that economic advantage. We can see Fly um, has more gold in his secondary gold mine, which means that he will be able to continually mine. He will be able to mine a little bit longer as we now see a transition into uh, Berserkers. All right, Berserkers to try and counter all of those um, destroyers that were in the air. Spirit Wolves um, causing a little bit of problems. No, sh or Shadow Wolves causing a little bit of problems. Are they going to actually block um, them from being able to get inside here? As we can take a look, Lich is actually trapped between those two locations, but doesn't have to worry all too much as the Lich is going to well, make its way back out. All right, let's take a look here. Spirit Wolf revealing themselves temporarily. That's going to get taken down. That Spirit Wolf also going to get taken down as well as that Lich still sits at level one. All right, pings. <laughs> wow, 6,000 ping. All right. Is this live? No, this is not live. Please pause it for right. Please pause. Please. Okay, they are ready to fix. All right, so apparently some some pinging issues. And wow, in this time, um, in this time, the Torrent Chieftain was able to get to level three. All right, my apologies for not keeping track of that. That Torrent Chieftain came out of the gates at level level um, one not too long ago and was able to clear out two of these creep camps and get up to level three. So that Torrent Chieftain's um, stomp and endurance are going to have a very big impact. And, and well, as this game goes on, we'll see if the 6,000 ping is going to be causing a problem for X-Lord as the Spirit Lord or Spirit Wolf gets taken down there. One shade to keep track of the Shadow Wolves as we are now looking at a large number of destroyers. All right, 86 over 90 supply. All of a sudden, X-Lord jumps into high upkeep. Is he still mining? Yes, he is still mining at this point, paying high taxes right now to do this. And we'll see. This may be the last battle to try and come underway. All right, 80 over 80, 86 over 90 supply here as we are going to be looking at a major battle moving off here in just a moment. He is still mining. Oftentimes, while well, players try to stop mining the moment they go into high upkeep, knowing that they want to be able to keep that alive. All right, there goes an impale as damage coming back across. Torrent Chieftain did have a couple of stomps. Shadow Hunter quickly falls, though. As the Farce here is still fighting in the back, Torrent Chieftain is getting in his stomps. But the stomps, is it going to really matter? Torrent Chieftain does have a potion of greater mana and uses it again, stomping again once more as the Torrents are trying to fight back against all of these Crypt Fiends. Crypt Fiends are upgraded 2-2. Two, two. 68 supply compared to 71. Constant impales. There's another stomp. Chain Lightning trying to finish off some more of those Crypt Fiends. 68 over 67 supply as the Spirit Walkers are getting resurrected as well. Destroyers and Raiders trying to fight their way back through. 69 supply compared to 59 as the Torrent Chieftain gets up to level 4. Another stomp should be un in underway as the Death Knight... Well, Let's take a look. Are we going to see a torrent fall here in just a moment? So low on hit points, but it is still alive somehow as it, well, level six onto the farce here. Death Knight falls at level three, almost level four, as the torrent chieftain now trying to back up again. All right. Are we going to perhaps see the Crippler try to summon in some more of those beetles to try and deny any sort of resurrection there as the Crippler is now making its way through? Our 59 supply compared to 40. Fly is in trouble. He needs to rebuild his army as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Death Knight getting hexed in the middle
middle of the map here. Shadow Hunter some, must have somehow had a little bit of mana as the Death Knight now trying to rotate back down to the bottom. All right, Hex on to the Death Knight. Death Knight may end up getting um, stomped on and, well, no, just getting body blocked and there it goes. All right, Army now coming back the other side. Are we going to see some damage getting added in here? Lich could have Frost Nova that Spirit Walker into Oblivion as the Crypt Lord while well, going after that Kodo Beast. Death Knight now back out onto the field as the Spirit Wolves are just going to get eaten alive here and uh, giving level 4 to that Death Knight, level 2 Unholy Aura. All right, Obsidian Statues rejoining ends. X-Lord sitting at 61 supply compared to 47. Uh, gold still being mined, but no, not being mined, now being unsummoned and getting a little bit of extra gold from unsummoning those gold mines 47 supply compared to 61 and fly has a mining going on but is down down in overall supply by what what is that 14 all right units are gonna the shade to keep track of that spirit wolf there spirit wolf and um, gets in a quick attack only to see it get destroyed pretty much instantaneously as the destroyers now making their way back over again Kodo Beast going to try and run and hide off to the back here. This is the problem of the undead army unable to easily take down buildings as we are at 57 supply coming in from Fly. Fly may be able to bounce back into this game here. Torn Chieftain coming in from the back is going to be able to do anything anything much as the Torn Chieftain now trying to make its way in and perhaps get down that stomp. Where is that stomp? Waiting for it. There it goes. As the stomp goes across multiple units, there goes that Lich, that, well, bouncing all around. We see an Impale trying to pick off many of those Berserkers. However, a Healing Wave counteracts all of that damage as another Crypt Fiend falls. Exord was holding on to a small advantage for some time. That Crypt Fiend did not unburrow in time. Well causing him to well fall as well we are now looking at 47 supply compared to 55 x lord even though playing with a, a bit of a disadvantage in terms of ping still putting up a good show but now that fly has level six on his farseer and level four maybe even level five shortly on that torrent chieftain well things are just going to go from bad to worse all right, as we are now unsummoning buildings to get every little bit of gold out, also resurrecting that Lich for one last final fight. We'll see if it is going to be enough. 152 gold left. Meanwhile, we are still mining away here, but only 1,600 gold left in this gold mine. 6,000 ping, yeah. 6,000 ping. Uh, for any of you guys wondering, it, that is a six-second delay. Um, on anything that you do. So you tell a unit to attack and move and you watch it for six seconds before it does anything. A lot can happen in six seconds of Warcraft 3 as the Lich is still not yet back out onto the field. All right, Crypt Lord has... Um, well, are, do we see a shade anywhere? No, no shade. So the Spirit Shadow Wolf trying to make its... Uh, well, trying to do a little bit of damage. Crypt Lord, I don't believe, got any experience there. As we are looking at a quick reveal once more, there is a bunch of burrowed carry-on beetles off to the back. And those burrowed carry-on beetles, well, high in hit points and in damage. Acolytes now making their way over to keep track of those Spirit Wolves. Meanwhile, we are getting in long-distance mining by fly as he's well perhaps going to be trying to set up an expansion and um, it doesn't look like it he doesn't have a tiny great hall a little bit curious as to what is going on there as the shadow wolves will make their way back down all right torrin chieftain torrin there is no spirit oh two spirit walkers right there only one torrin at left as this one well shadow wolf trying to slip away and will be able to do exactly that all right, Lich is now back out onto the field. It does have a dark ritual. Is it going to perhaps try and dark ritual some of these acolytes or a carry-on beetle? If it dark rituals a carry-on beetle, unsummoning gold mines. All right, trying to get every bit of gold that it can, unsummoning a crypt. Is it going to be training up any units off over here? That is the question. And it is how much gold you can get from these remaining buildings. All right, Shadow Wolf is slipping away once more. Lich, um, Acolytes are all back across here. Why not join in on the fight, adding as, uh, I guess, small mana batteries for that Lich and, and, and a healing opportunities for the Death Knight with Death Pact. All right, absorbing mana. There goes another destroyer into the air. And this may be the last fight here. Fly will be trying to f uh, hold off against this attack as best as he can. 
as well. Xlord wanting to make sure there is no expansion. No expansion there. He knows that timing is going to be key. What is un what is um, uh, coming up? No, oh, that's Frost Armor. My apologies. It is not Dark Ritual. Frost Armor, not Dark Ritual. A little bit of extra armor. That is about it. Death Pack is available, though, as the Lich, if it had a Dark Ritual, may be able to just Frost Nova enough of these Berserkers over time. O2 upgrades going up against 2 2 upgrades. 73 supply compared to 52. And things are slowly growing for slowly growing for Fly as he's the one who is now with a larger army and still trying to do a little bit of long distance mining at times. All right, Peon's making their way over here to the bottom right. Xlord is afraid to commit to any any real battle here. He knows that he w needs to make a move out, but what can he really do with the army that he's got? He is behind in terms of overall army supply. He's behind in terms of hero level. And he's even behind in terms of micro control due to playing on the Asian servers. All right, coming back around. Let's coming back. Are we going to see a little bit of an engagement here? Spirit Wolves now making their way through. Torrent Chief and now trying to push on in. There's a giant stomp across multiple units. And that may be too much as the Torrent Chieftain is going to be getting to level 5 here if any more of these units fall. At that point, if the Torrent Chieftain gets to level 5, it will just be a, a situation for him to win more as he is going to be able to take the game right there. That final battle pretty much instantaneously bad for Xlord. That Torrent Chieftain able to get in some giant stomps. And I, as I mentioned it, Xlord, um, while well, playing with a little bit of a disadvantage with lag right there, he was able to get back to even for a small bit of time. But that Torrent Chieftain getting up from level 1 to level 3, level 2 stomp, making a very big impact on many of those Crypt Fiends, and it was just too much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.